Hey guys, what's up? It's TF now. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another action figure review. This is going to be of the SH Figure Arts Jujutsu Kaisen Satoru Gojo figure. I'm very happy to have this figure because I had to wait a little while for this pre-order to come in, but I'm glad to finally have him because I pre-ordered this guy here and Yuji, the SH Figure Arts of that, which I already reviewed, from Big Bad Toy Store. They took a while to come in, but I also got pre-orders from Amazon, which were canceled, unfortunately. So I'm, I'm glad to at least have my backups, which Big Bad Toy Store was the backup. We need the rest of the team. Well, we really need Fushiguro, and we really need Kugisaki. And maybe let's get some Chainsaw Man SH Figure Arts, because that trailer just dropped, and it looks freaking awesome. But yeah, we got our fan favorite character here from Jujutsu Kaisen, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the packaging here. Top half here. It's pretty standard. Uh, same size that we get with Yuji. Um... You get the figure in the box with some of the contents there. SH Figure Arts, Satoru Gojo, Jujutsu Kaisen, as well as the read-up of the SH Figure Arts line. You get some images of the figure right there on the right, as well as the uh, Tomashi Nation's quality sticker. The Tomashi Nation's logo and Bandai logo, as well as the Jujutsu Kaisen logo there. On this side here, just some square images of some of the features of the, fi uh, yeah, the figure, as well as it says SH Figure Arts, the character's name, and Jujutsu Kaisen again. On this side, pretty much the similar thing from the other side. That I showed off, but we do have that continued image of the figure there, which is in like a blue kind of highlight there. Uh, the SH Figure Arts character's name and the series. On top here, another image of Gojo right there. And again, his name and the series he's from as well as SH Figure Arts. Pretty much the same thing on the bottom here, just a different image with some different accessories of the uh, figure there. We get to the back of the packaging here and we have some option parts images here, which we pretty much saw throughout the rest of the box, except for the one on the top right there. And uh, yeah, looking pretty good with all those poses and whatnot. Says Satoru Gojo, Jujutsu Kaisen. Simple style and heroic action. Bottom half here, we do have this sticker from uh, the Bluefin dis uh, distribution right there, as well as a barcode in case you need it. So let's go ahead and get this figure out of the packaging. Ho oh, ho ho, I am a happy little weeb, let me tell you. This figure is really awesome. I think I like it more than Yuji. Yuji is great. He just needed like one or two more faces and he would have been perfect. With Gojo, you pretty much get everything you want and need with him. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories, then we'll take a closer look at the figure. Here's an operation manual for Gojo, which we get a lot of these with a lot of import figures here. Read this, because you're going to want to know how to use some of these accessories and interchange some parts, as well as you'll need some of these warnings about possible paint rub-off of some of the accessories and just some of the moving parts of the figure. First things first, we get the head without the blindfold. This looks great. Absolutely well done. I love how the hair was sculpted there. I don't really see much paint going on here. Maybe a little bit of, of white going into the very bright gray that is sculpted here. But again, the sculpting is nice. Uh, is it spiky to where it's uncomfortable? Not really, but just be careful of some of these soft plastic pieces on the hair. There is potential that you could break some stuff off. Look how clean that face printing is. Looking really nice. I feel like... The left eye is looking a little bit up to the left, his left, a little bit too much. Well, that's not too bad. And uh, you can just interchange this face. Can, can this one actually? No, this one can't. Never mind. You, I thought you could interchange the face, but you cannot with this one. So that makes sense because the only time where his hair is like this is he takes the blindfold off. So I was about to do a little bit of a goof and a gaff there. So apologies there. We have... I forget the exact name of this i'm sorry but this is a cursed technique hand which is cool because it's two hands sculpted together so that way the arms can be connected like so it's not a new concept for imports figures like these but this is the first time i've owned one like this now all these hands have the same uh skin tone on here there really isn't much uh paint on here I mean, pretty good sculpting you could see some nails in there where the fingers came out and the expression on them is, is really good but not much paint. Maybe a little bit of like uh, I don't know, some paint where some of the creases are would be would be nice. But there is some sculpting in there with a little bit of the creases around the finger, so that is nice. We do have well, he comes packaged with a pair of fists, of course. So we're gonna take a look at these hands. These are posed, opened hands here, meant for doing certain attacks, which have pretty nice long fingernails. There, not super duper long, of course, but they do. They are sculpted, which is nice. The hands themselves uh, themselves look pretty good. There's details on the palms as well we also have two different types of hands one is a grabbing hand here which can be used to grab his blindfold which can be attached when you take off the head of course but it has a nice clenching motion here 
some of those hands uh, fingers are sculpted onto the palm there. This one here, you can see with the index finger and the thumb, it could also be used for um, grabbing those as well. I don't know if this is also a cursed technique hand. Uh, let me know down in the comments. I really need to watch the show again. And it's been a couple months since I've watched it as well as read the manga. I, I have like six volumes right now that I need to start reading seriously. We have another hand, which is for one of his moves. I remember towards the end of the season, he used this for one of those attacks, which is that was an awesome scene. Uh, looking pretty good. We have one more here. I believe this is the infinity technique. Again, let me note down in the comments the exact names. School me, please. But the fingers are crossed and they look awesome. I'm going to use this a lot, I have a feeling. A couple more accessories. We have Gojo with a mask on, you know, the blindfold, as well as open mouth here, looking great with a little bit of some white right there around the ears. And the teeth and mouth are painted and sculpted very nicely. You can even see a little bit of some indents from his eyes right there, you can see where the eyebrows would be. Last but not least, plastic blindfold uh, piece that's just in the gray black paint and plastic which when you have this head on there you would put this on there as well so a lot of great accessories again everything you need for gojo so here is gojo with all of his glory he looks great trying to focus up for you guys now one thing i do want to mention do you see right there in the mouth there looks like there's a little bit of paint that is missing there which is a bit disappointing maybe i can fix that on my own it doesn't bug me too much but i just wish it i don't know if it's like that with other people's either but i don't think it is from what i've seen online it's a tiny bit disappointing but it's not the end of the world with that um the, the price you're paying for this was just 60 bucks it's not super steep but it shouldn't happen but that's an easy fix i don't mean to like brush that off and then you know roast marvel legends or whatever but some things are tolerable and some things aren't uh anyway get to the back of the hair here which really took a quick look when i was rotating that very nice spiked slicked uh slick back hair which doesn't really have any paint just like the alternate head uh, but the plastic that's being used i think it looks fine I, I, some of the molding in there looks a little weird do you see some of those lines in there uh, at this point it's like i'm nitpicking you know this thing, this thing is solid like seriously it's not much i'm it's not much bad i can find one thing i want to mention which i have a figure for a good example that I have a similar, not really an issue, but just something I noticed with Yuji is that there is paint, but there's not a lot of it. What I mean is, I have Cell Saga Vegeta here. You see right here, in the abs, that is actually painted. You could definitely tell that there is shading around the blue there, around the crotch area, around the legs as well. The feet also have shading. Same thing with these gloves. They are actually painted on there as well as the shoulder pads. This is just molded in certain colors. Does it look bad for it? No. It's just something... I don't even know if it needed shading. It might distract too much from the figure. It might make things too busy. That's just something I wanted to point out. It's not necessarily a critique. It's just something interesting. But sculpting overall is great because we get the hood here, which looks really good with some nice wrinkles. There's a bit of gappage when you're moving it around. So that could look a little ugly, but not often will you get that gappage. On the back there, lots of nice wrinkles. Is there any? I have Yuji here. I don't think anything is reused. No. They're definitely not much reuse. You can tell. So, nice line going all the way down through his uniform there. With nice joints. And this, you can see where in that elbow joint there in the armpit, some of that plastic, I guess, when it was being taken off the factory line or whatever. I don't really know how these are made exactly. It's a little messy right there, but it's going to be covered most of the time, so that's not a big deal. Here are those fists. Now, these I thought were the same as Yuji's, but they are different because you can tell with Yuji's that you can actually see the fingernails. It's a little bit hard with the light. There are fingernails actually sculpted a lot better, but more prevalent than here. There are fingernails in here. They're just not as prevalent. If they are reused, it's not a big deal. It really isn't. Uh, definitely not reused legs because... Yuji's pants are wider. Uh, this could be distracting too. Just like Yuji, we have metal for the pins right there for the wrists. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It really isn't. Uh, we get down to 
the uh, back of the legs here. It looks a little smooth. Front, nice wrinkles and whatnot. Better wrinkles around the kneecaps. And great detail on the shoes, which are just molded in this plastic with, um, I think, a little bit of paint in there. Looking good. I like how the shoes came out overall. Looking really nice. What the bottom of the feet look like. So there's really not much going on in the bottom there, unfortunately. A little bit of some legal stuff or whatever. Overall pretty nice. I didn't really mention we do have some detail of the eyebrows, just like the alternate face here. Not the exact same sculpt, of course, but a similar approach to that. I have some stuff that's on this review station I need to get rid of. It's making this too busy. I'll do a quick 360 for you guys. He looks great. He looks like he came right out of the anime. Articulation is pretty basic for SH Figure Arts. This guy here has a ball peg system up here, as you can see. Very much like Yuji. So it'll go side to side all the way around. Forward, back, side to side again, like I just said. Be careful with the chin. Touching the hood here. Paint rub may occur. We do have a joint going into the body here for the neck. So the hood moves around too. All this range of motion is available here. This may not completely rotate but you definitely get some moving parts there we do have a bit of a butterfly joint it's a little bit hard to move uh right here but it's you know you get the motion there at least arms go all the way around they do go in and out it goes out really far like that we do have an upper arm swivel we have double jointed elbows we do have the classic wrist system where it swivels here and at the hand so you can hinge up and down or in and out which i'm having trouble doing it right now Ball joint away so it can go all the way around, forward, back, side to side. Just like Yuji, we have a soft plastic piece for the bottom of the rest of the outfit here, around here. So that might rub off as well as the plastic may overlap here and get in the way. So just be careful. It's a little bit stiff on mine. But I think we have a separate waist twist as well. And it crunches forward all this great range of motion and continued plastic in details so it doesn't break up, you know, and gap too much. With the soft plastic skirt, the leg can go outward that much. Not really back that much. In and out. Does he have... Did they make something to work? They kind of sculpted pockets or something? You could probably make that work. Uh, in and out splits like this. Upper thigh swivel. You have double jointed knees. You have a swivel here. As well as up and down and ankle rocker. Actually, this might be... No, this is... I thought it was a classic pivot, but it's an ankle rocker. Looks very much like a classic pivot though. And then we do have toe hinge. Forgot to mention, this actually wants to shift down a little bit so you can actually move this separate piece a lot more. I would be careful though, just so you know things don't get warped or broken somehow. By the way, this is actually how you're removing the faces. There are no hair pieces that come off. Just keep that in mind. I thought there was a hair piece that would come off, but I am wrong. For quick size comparisons, on the right, we have UG from SH Figure Arts, the same line as Gojo here. And on the right, we have from SH Figure Arts, the Cell Saga version of Vegeta, which is a pretty short character, so he's definitely going to be shorter than Gojo. And uh, Yuji is a teenager, which is Go Gojo's a grown man, so he's going to be a little bit taller than Yuji. Um, I feel like Gojo's a little bit of a taller SHF. As you can see here on the left, we have Arc Trooper Echo from Star Wars The Black Series. And on the right, we have the Retro Collection Marvel Legends Spider-Man there. So you can see that he's actually starting to get some scaling, you know, a bit, a bit of height over these two Hasbro figures here. So I seriously love this figure. I'm having a very hard time figuring out major issues with this figure besides maybe a few minor paint defects, a few nitpicks when it comes to a little bit of a lack of paint in certain areas. But everything you need for this figure is here. All the accessories are awesome. The detail, the sculpting, the articulation is phenomenal. I cannot stop playing with it. It is a great figure. If you can get your hands on one, do not pass this up. It is absolutely awesome. And I'm really, really hoping we get the rest of the, I mean, at least the main team for Jujutsu Kaisen. I want them to make this line as long as they can. Again, an awesome figure. This one in particular is a lot more sold out than you, I mean, they're both pretty sold out, but this became impossible after all pre-orders closed. And it's just, I, I love it. It's about 60 bucks retail. Good luck. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below what you think about the figure, what you think about the review. Leave a like, share amongst your friends. Follow me on Instagram for more content over there. And I'll see you guys later.